All right, what's going on? I'm back again, all right? Because I heard a comment, I'm, I'm answering my comments from a previous video that I made talking about, you know, this is the end of grifting and all that stuff, uh, the grifting beggar. And there's a word that's been used, and I, start, I, I hear all the grifters starting to use it. The first people I started to hear use it were MAGA, the, the MAGA Republicans use it, and now I start to see some of the black people use it because it's like a, it's like a, you're trying to parry a shot, right? And the word is shamed. They don't want to feel, they shouldn't feel shamed to be free. You hear this free thinking. You, you can, you have the right to think freely, just not the right to be stupid and, 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 and not think. You're not, none of y'all are thinking. And y'all keep talking about this shame stuff. Yes, yes, yes. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. Don't, you should be ashamed. Yes, we need to bring shame back. Make shame a thing again. Because that's the problem. People, so you think you can shed shame, right? You think you can shed shame so you can go off and, and justify all the things that you do and think that you up and up to snuff and that you sitting on some sort of moral platform simply because you think when somebody shame you, you're just going to put that in the same category as bullying. No, I'm an African, okay? I'm proud to call myself an African because I know, no. Not think, not believe, not feel, not hope, not want, but I know 100% fact that I'm an African, right? And I have African pride. You understand? Real African pride. I have real black man pride, right? And it's about time that the black community starts shaming these idiots that embarrass us on the world stage. Yes, you should be ashamed to call yourself FBA. You should be ashamed of Tariq Nasheed being your leader. You should be ashamed to call yourself Eidos. Ashamed to be a black person and say you, your lineage started with slavery. You should be ashamed to put a title that has the word slave in it. You should be ashamed. Yes, you should be ashamed to call yourself anything other than an African or black. You should be ashamed not to know that black means African. African means black. Black means African and African means black. They are interchangeable, the same word. You should be ashamed to be an African American that don't know that we Africans been calling ourselves black for thousands of years and that African Americans don't have a monopoly on the word black. You should be ashamed to not know, know this information. You should be ashamed that your leader that you say is not your leader, that's the leader, that's not the leader. You should be ashamed that this guy who once said in a book that he supposedly wrote, which he probably didn't, but he told you you wrote and you bought it after giving him money to write it, and then he gave it to you after he sold it to you. So you bought it twice. You should be ashamed of this guy who used to act like he was some sort of rapper, some sort of pimp, some sort of groomer of young children, decided he was going to be some sort of leader of the black community in America. Still, the already shameful American descendant of slave title from, from Yvette Carnell, and then make up his own cool little term, sounds a little better, but FBA, Foundational Black American. You should be ashamed to take African off your name. You should be ashamed to pander to white supremacy. You should be ashamed to be uneducated. In the age of information, it's time to flex your brain muscles. You should be ashamed that you didn't finish school. You should be ashamed that you skipped all your classes and you didn't pay attention in history school. You didn't pay attention in government. So now y'all adults with childlike minds are on the internet pretending to be adults in an adult world. You should be ashamed. Yes, be ashamed. We need to bring shame back. Yes, I'm shaming you. Yes. And I don't care if your feelings is hurt, right? Because you like your little name, FBA. I'm embarrassed by the term FBA, foundational black. I'm a foundational African. We the foundation of the planet, not this little, this country that only been here for 200 and some odd years. This ain't shit. This is just some other, this is just another empire us Africans made again. This is just some shit we do on our off time, right? Making empires what Africans do, period. We can make another America anywhere we want. You know how many Americas us Africans done made in, in the span of human history? This ain't the most magnificent thing ever. We've done this before. This is what we do. And you should be ashamed not to know that. These Europeans took everything from us. Now there's no excuse. You should be ashamed to not know what part of Africa you from come from. You can do your DNA test and find out. Don't tell me though. You should be ashamed to think that it don't work. You should be ashamed that you got some, some dude that probably didn't finish high school telling you that DNA don't work. You should be ashamed to think you are a Native American when you are an African. You should be ashamed to be this ignorant. You should be ashamed. 
Yes, bring shame back. We need shame because y'all guys have no shame. And because y'all have no shame, y'all go out and y'all attach yourself to anything, dee dee daddy, anybody, and y'all fight 100% for it, looking like straight idiots. Period. With all the information, you have a phone in your hand that has, you have access to an entire world. Ignorance is no longer an excuse. Ignorance is no longer an excuse. You should be ashamed. Shame is a necessary tool to get your shit right. Have some pride in you. Be an African. Be an intelligent black person. Be an African. When the hell was you ever an American? You know when you're an American? When you run in the Olympics. When you play sports for the white man. That's when you're an American. You know when you're American? You're only American when them white people start to see you getting cozy up with your brothers and sisters in the Caribbean. When they see you about to cozy up with your, with your brothers and sisters on the continent, that's when the white man come knocking on your door. Hey! Hey, you're American like us. You're American like us. We don't treat you like that. But we don't want you getting together with your brother. We don't want y'all connecting. You should be ashamed that you fall for white supremacy. You should be ashamed that you're still falling for, for the white tricks. You should be ashamed. Yes, be ashamed. I want all of you who should be ashamed to be ashamed. And if that offends you, you should go fin find out why you're offended. Why do you feel ashamed? Ask that, answer that question. Why do you feel ashamed? Deal with that. Have some humility about yourself. Have some pride about yourself. Have some pride in your ancestors that died in this country so you can sit here and act like a fool on the internet and embarrass your ancestors, embarrass the black community, and embarrass Africans and hold us back. Because listen, African people, y'all just don't understand. This is our moment. This is the shit we've been waiting for. This is the shit we've been, we've been waiting for this moment. We didn't even think it was going to come. I never thought in my life that I would be in an era where we had a, we had a, a time where African people can take over. We own 20% of the political, uh, of the Democratic Party in this country. We are a massive economic and voting bloc in this country. That's why white people have spent so much time, blood, sweat, and tears telling us not to vote. Killing us for voting. Stopping us from voting. To this day, gerrymandering districts so we can't vote. Because these white people know the power that we got for real. They don't want us to know the power that we got. We have a lot of power. You guys just don't know how to wield the power because you don't have the education to flex the power that you do have. Well, you see, they got the education and they're going to make sure you don't know that you got the power that you do have. So somebody need to come and shame you. First you come and you give you the, I give you the information. Other people like myself, we give you the information. You don't want to receive it because maybe it's not entertaining enough for you. huh? Maybe it's not enough chuck, not enough, enough stereotypical hippity hoppity in there for you. Hmm? You don't want to listen to the boring stuff. Because not it, you can't keep your attention long enough to learn something, to do something with yourself. So you fall for the Tariq Nasheeks and the Yvette Carnells and the Dane Calloways and the Pan-African Strikes Back and the, and the Phil Scott. You should be ashamed to even be subscribed to these dudes. You should be ashamed to be associated with these dudes. And they should be, they should be ashamed, but they have no humility. In order to make a lot of money, sometimes you got to have no humility. You got to get in the mud. And that's what they do. They get in the mud. They have no shame. And that's how they make their money. How you think a lot of these hip-hop artists get, get big? They have no shame. They go to these little parties with you-know-who, and they, and they buck dance. They, they buck dance, don't they? You know what they do at these little pie-rich parties in Hollywood. They have to eliminate their shame in order to get them butter biscuits. That's what they do. They give it up their shame. That's why a lot of these rappers who, who supposedly in their music, they was all for the struggle, but... When it comes down to it, now that they're millionaires, now that they're rich, now that they have the capability to do things like create bottle companies, to create manufacturing companies, they have the money to do all the shit that we say we need to do. We have millionaires upon millionaires upon millionaires upon millionaires, but for some reason, none of these millionaires seem to do any of this stuff in the regular business world. Not all of them. Some of them are doing it. But we got, for all these millionaires, none of them seem to get into industries that we can control. You know why? Because they've been shamed and recorded. It's there. So as soon as they step out of line, guess what? Whoop, the tape going out. How many times have we seen it? Kim Kardashian, she got shamed into being rich. She had to get shamed first. Why is she famous? For getting fucked. That's why she's famous. And how much millions of dollars has she gotten because of that? Huh? How has that spread across her family? Look at her father, stepfather. Hmm? Look what he had to do. And he's a Republican. Huh? A transgendered Olympic medalist, Kardashian stepdaddy, Republican, conservative. No shame. None. Yes, you should be shamed. We need shame back. 
So I'm not trying to hear any of y'all about, eh, y'all ashamed me. You should be ashamed to be stupid enough to think that Donald Trump going to do something for you. You should be ashamed to be stupid enough to think Donald Trump ever did anything for you. You should be ashamed to think that Donald Trump is not a racist piece of shit Nazi. You should be ashamed not to know that. With literally all the evidence. You should be ashamed. Yes, be ashamed. I want you to be ashamed. And then come back and we can talk about why you're ashamed. Yes, shame. As a real black man, as a, as a real black African who knows, even though we built this empire and it belongs to us and my African America is my African America. But in no means do I ever thought that I was ever an American. You know what American is? It's a white person who gave up Europe. That's an American. An American is a white Anglo-Saxon who gave up his home country and stole somebody else's home country and got somebody else to build that country for them. That's what an American is. Everybody else is asterisk. But you want to go take away your Africanness and you want to be a foundational black American foundation to what this 200 years foundation to black something that you don't own because we've been calling ourselves black for thousands of years foundation to America which you've never been and you get reminded every day your grandmama got reminded your great grandmama got reminded your great 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 grandmama got reminded your mama got reminded and you get reminded and your parents and your children go get reminded they not american unless they winning gold medals unless they winning awards unless they fighting wars unless they doing something for that anglo-saxon white man that gave up his homeland for the manufactured american dream which is living on the backs of our African ancestors. You should be ashamed. And I'm ashamed of you, for you. You should feel it. The feeling, the chemical reaction of shame is supposed to induce a reaction. And you need to react when you feel ashamed. Don't come to my comment section. Don't go on your YouTube channels talking about you ashamed. You're feeling that shame. That's you projecting the way you actually feel onto others because you do feel ashamed. You want somebody to Cover your eyes, close your ears, and do this so you ain't got to process the information. No, don't be intellectually lazy. Learn something. You got a phone in your hand. You have every, you have the power of all information right there in your hand. We're going to, what? We are going past the age of information. We are going, we, the, the curve is going like this. There's going to be no time for stupid. There's going to be no time for ignorance. African people must elevate their, 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 their intellect. Okay, we must elevate our we are going to another place. You're not paying attention. You still trying to try to track your freaking fantasy football league. Y'all still trying to pay attention to distractions. You go into the dispensary, occupying all your free time, being blitzed or being drunk, not living in the real world. You should be ashamed. There's a time to relax and a time for fun. But there's also a time to learn. You don't stop learning when you left high school. Some of y'all stopped learning before y'all even got in high school. Y'all spent half your time in high school tr not trying to be in high school. Got passed along by the educational system. They didn't want to deal with your ass. Now y'all in the real world can't get a job. Don't know why you in the situation is. And then when some stupid ass grifter that's just a little bit smarter than you come along, y'all freaking think he's Jesus. And y'all give him all your loyalty, all your time, all your mind, all your energy. You should be ashamed. Yes, be ashamed. All y'all should be ashamed. The ones who I'm talking about. If the shoe don't fit, don't put it on. If the shoe fit, put that shit on. And only the barking dog is going to talk in my comment. That's the way I talk. I make sure I talk in such a way that only the dogs get, that get hit by that brick I throw got something to say. Because everybody else like, shh, like, ain't me. You ain't talking to me. Clearly you want to talk to me. You're talking to that guy over there. You want to talk to me. I'm talking to you, the one who's ashamed. And want to use that word of shame. All these so social media guys, you TikTokers, you YouTubers, y'all should have some shame. Because y'all have no pride. It's the op. Y'all don't have pride. Y'all don't even know what African pride look like. Y'all don't know. Y'all need to start figuring out what African pride look like. Huh? Pump your chest out. Flex your mind. Huh? Get some culture about you. Huh? Attach yourself to black excellent. Because there's too many black excellent people out here. That's out here doing the damn thing. To be represented by a lot of you people out here. And a lot of you African people are way too smart. To allow yourself to stay low vibrational. To allow yourself to stay stupid. To allow yourself to, to, to be manipulated by these people. You should be ashamed. Yes, be ashamed. Anyway, that's all I got to say. This Afro Think Tank. Learn something. Cheat something. I'm out.